Are you an alpha male? If you answered no, you're in the right place because I'm going to turn your scrawny butt into a raging f***ing savage of a man. You're going to leave here feeling like you can take over the world. Today, we're watching Learning How to Be a Man. Let's get into it. I like how they let you know that. This was filmed before the whole world went to Culturally, collectively, men want to be free to feel. Yo, that's it. That's my whole vibe. Me and the homeboys always do this, by the way. This is common. This is how we, we charge our batteries. Derek, what up, Steve? Let me put my fucking head on your head real quick, though. No. Yes. So what this is? Like a homeboy in the back. He's like, I don't have anyone to touch shoulders with. This is straight bullshit. One of the first things we had to do was stare another man in the eyes. <laughs> uh, if you got this, dude, you're fucked. Like, how are you not going to laugh? There's a few faces that aren't that funny. I can kind of visualize like a refrigerator. I can visualize a burnt down blockbuster. Things that are just not going to make me laugh. But then I see him with his fedora. I think he has green hair with the thick frames. Boy, I'm laughing immediately. Oh, and we also had to shout. <laughs> This has been done since the 50s. I know Harvard was doing a bunch of experiments with this sort of thing, and there's some really weird cults maybe I'll cover in the future. Rup, 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 rup. Taking a cold plunge is supposed to create a sense of well-being. <laughs> it's not really my thing. Keep freezing. Now, the cold therapy, if you know, Wim Hof is the man. Now, Wim Hof didn't create cold exposure, but the fact of the matter is cold exposure has incredible benefits for your health, and yeah, it, it can be useful as well. So, so far, I came into here looking to shit on this a little bit, but I'm actually seeing some valuable aspects of this camp here. I'd met Hugo, who's from California, on the first day. He's been to a couple of these things. Ballin! He struggles with childhood trauma and worries how it will affect his relationship with his children. What do you wow. find effective about this kind of work? I think for so long I thought I, w I was the only one. I thought I was the only one that got abused. I thought I was the only one that got beat. I thought I was the only one that they didn't know how to be a man, they didn't know how to be a father, they didn't know how to be a husband, they didn't know how to be in the world. And then to come here and see all these brothers working their process around similar things it makes it okay to feel that way that's a super honest answer a lot of respect for that dude i typically don't like these alpha male camps they try to make you alpha by yelling in your face in this kind of paramilitary sort of setup that they have stand in the back do this do that give me fifteen thousand dollars and i'll f spit on you and tell you how to be a man but from my experiences what teaches you to be a man or an alpha male is developing the ability to win in life okay and to feel good about that you can respond to negative experiences in, in your life in a variety of different ways for instance let's get serious for a second a little backstory of myself i've been homeless two times now that doesn't mean that being homeless and being able to come back from that is going to make you an alpha male or a successful person sometimes those struggles beat the living shit out of you and you end up in a situation where you're so jaded and beat up that you can't put love properly and you can't do things and maybe these kinds of camps help those individuals or you can learn about yourself and use those negative experiences to fortify yourself to gain confidence knowing that you could deal with that you could deal with anything that's on the horizon and i think that i obviously lean more in, in that way but don't get it twisted i'm no superman there was plenty of moments in my life homeless as a teenager homeless in my mid-20s not like oh i was homeless when i was 18 and i figured it out i was really into smoking weed and i got lazy and i fell into pills no 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 in the 20s many times wanted to quit many times wanted to give up and tap out fortunately i had a talent with the martial arts and just enough i'm not gonna give up kind of mentality stubbornness that allowed me to persevere and to get to a position where success was at my doorstep but again at any moment i could have zigged and zagged and i would have ended up in a completely different position you don't get toughened up from being told to toughen up you get toughened up from having a rough experience a rough life challenges in your life and then being able to come back from those tough experiences and learn from them look around this container at all these beautiful men Beautiful. Now we're starting to teeter on the line of homosexuality. Relax now. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Any man that you feel curious about, I want you to go to that man now. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, this is so good. I want you to go and find a man that you find to be a little bit curious to you and then find him. He just locked eyes with the dude that he met in the first day and he did an interview. He was like, obviously I'm gonna go to you. Check out the guy in the back. He's kind of the quiet guy in the back. I don't know, who do I find? Oh, everyone got taken up. I'm just gonna stand by this tree here. Ready and go. Ready? 
Sacred Sons show a lot of this wrestling in their promotional videos. Oh, beautiful. He hits almost a modified lat drop and scores a takedown there. I get injured basically every time I do a sporting activity, so I was a bit worried. Also, I think my opponent had had training. Well, I'll see his grip and I'll let you guys know if he actually has martial arts experience or not. He has double underhooks, lifts the hips. No, it doesn't seem like he has training and I'll tell you why. From my vantage point, he had this grip around the back. That's usually a sign that the person doesn't know how to connect his hands in a body lock. You wanna see grips like 10 finger, palm to palm, wrist to wrist, maybe hand over wrist. But hand over hand is usually a sign that the guy doesn't have any grappling experience. He could just be a good athlete. Hold up. We're gonna say that that goes beyond how to be a man. And that's like how to love a man? I'd like to see some of these individuals get into a jiu-jitsu club, a Greco-Roman club if that's around you, wrestling, even Muay Thai, st stuff like this. Cause I think there's a, a decent amount of community in Muay Thai as well. Boxing, you're not gonna get the community thing. Muay Thai is gonna give you good community. I would say great community, but it does lack a certain vulnerability from my experience. So I would definitely suggest some sort of grappling art because you mean when you have a guy on your back and you're fighting your hardest to get out and he's strangling you and you're trusting him with your health, you build a certain relationship with that individual. You don't really build an any other martial arts. So I think that would be a good option for people. Not to say that this isn't effective, this can be useful, but I don't think this is gonna give guys confidence. I think this is gonna give them a greater ease within their own body, but I don't think it's gonna to equate to confidence. And we're looking to build confidence and ease in the body. And it's, it's on us to change that culture. And by us doing the work together and showing up in this way, um, giving each other permission to feel, to express, um, and to relate and be intimate with each other, I think it changes everything. It's changed everything for me, and I've seen that in others. It's, it's yeah, a beautiful yeah, thing to witness and to hold space for. Come on, you beat me, you You Why do you beat me so much? Why do you beat me so much? You're my dad! So usually my instinct is to make funnies out of pretty much anything. And I could definitely get on these guys and make a bunch of jokes, but I don't think this is the point of this video. So you see him now letting out all of this pent up stuff that he has within himself about being abused as a kid by his dad, which is really, really heavy. And you can see everyone's really understanding of that. There's a lot of positivity I'm seeing come out of this man camp. But I just have a quick question. Leave a comment below. Do you struggle with any past trauma that hinders your quality of life? Leave a comment below. The reason I'm getting so personal is because I asked a question in one of my bully beatdowns and I had this amazing flood of transparency between you and me. And I saw the support that all the different Strangle Gang members were given to each other. And I think that that can be cathartic, even on the internet, a place that's notoriously toxic. And we have so much good vibes going in with our community. Let's get back into this. One of our final tasks was to call out a person from the group who we'd got a negative vibe from. We're gonna have our goodbyes today. And if there's anything that is like kind of built up within you. Troy, he's a fucking he got a straight face on this whole time. I, I just don't like his energy. He's real weird, man. Like, when, when it was time to share in the hut, he didn't share. I mean, what, are you better than us? You paid a $1,000, you're not gonna share? You're gonna sit there and you're gonna judge me? Hey, f Troy. Being open really does make life so much better. And when you don't fear judgment, in the same way, I think it's pretty cool. Now, when I came into this video, I didn't know what I was gonna see and how I was gonna feel about it, but I'm just being as transparent as I can in the moment. It's really moved me. And it shows people I moving. I love it. It's really moved me, and it shows like a bunch of guys independently dancing off beat to the track in the background. Love it. I don't know, I think Strangle Gang needs to get a house in the desert and we need to start doing our own version of this. It's gonna be a little less touchy unless we're grappling, but I think that that would be a pretty cool idea. We'll have live music, we'll have all kinds of insanity going on in this giant plot of land. That might be the move in the future. We gotta grow a little bit more before that's a, a possibility, but it would be pretty fun. Strangle Gang, I appreciate all the support as always. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Turn on the post notifications as well because that'll show you that, yo, this kid just posted something. Let me actually watch Watch it. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day or night, whatever you are, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Ah!